Taurus. Welcome to your Singles and Curious reading. I hope all is well and fabulous to you. Let me tell you, yours is the last of the day today, and it's Friday, so I know you will appreciate this sentiment. I'm ready to carb load this gotch. <laughs> I'm ready. Bring it on. I want pizza. I want I want all I want all I just want all the bad foods. Mm, I just want all the bad foods. I want I want my burger with with like everything on it and I just I want pizza and I want beer and I want wine and I want mm, just all those things. Just I just want all those things, honey. In honor of your birthday month. Let's just carb load this weekend. Let's do it. Let's fuck it. Let's do it. And Taurus is like, hell, yeah. And that's why I'm telling you, because I know you get it. I know you get it. I'm actually very strict and regimented. Um, so when I, but I'll tell you what, when it's time, it's time, baby. And we're in Taurus season, and it's, it's time. It's time. <laughs> Let me know what your favorite indulgent foods are, you know? I really don't keep mine a secret. <laughs> it's just straightforward. I'm pretty straightforward. Burgers and donuts, that's awful. But i tell you what. Tell you what. I feel good. Yours truly had our annual, and we are 110 over 64. Hey, our resting heart rate is 50 beats per minute. Yes, baby. Mm-hmm. Some of us slay it. Some of us just slay it. And thus we earn our damn carbs. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Taurus? How you doing, honey? Okay, welcome to your Singles and Curious. Singles, because let me tell you why. In the general love readings, it is very common to see energy entanglement, or what I call energy dominance, i.e. the emotional entanglement that is long and stressful between two people. Very rare to see singular energy in a general love reading. Okay, it does happen, it's just not very common. So, trust me, I'm more than happy to do singles readings, because, honey, it's like a tarot reader pallor cleanse it, okay? We just gotta shake it up. We just gotta shake it up, you know? Energy dominance is a real thing. And then curious because, honey, I'm all inclusive. If you watch whatever the hell you want, you don't have to be single to watch this, okay? Some people want to learn more about tarot. Some of you have actually expressed you just really enjoy my personality. And, uh, <laughs> and whatever. You're on YouTube. Watch what you want, okay? So, yeah, singles and curious. There we go. What's going on? If you're new to my channel, welcome. You will note I have a sense of humor. I swear, and I also express strong opinions. If you find any of those aspects annoying, I can tell you right now, this is not the channel for you. Just a little FYI. All right? But if you do like my energy, if you like my vibe, if you like my style, please do let me know. Like, share, maybe even subscribe. I appreciate you. What's going on? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. What's that current energy, please? What's that current energy? Ooh. Hey, right. Flew right out the gate. Three of cups, yeah? Some of you are in that connection spirit. Lovely. We are socializing. We're getting ourselves out there. We're putting, we're having a drink. We're having a laugh, right? All that lovely three cups energy. Some of you are connecting, which is new. Some of you are reconnecting, which might be old. We'll see what's going on. That's a nice way to kick it off for you. Some of you are like, yeah, too, I, I know exactly what I'm doing. Thank you. I'm getting out there. Good for you. All right. Show me this person. Is this other person? You might be seeing multiple people. All right. What's going on? Ooh. Damn, Gina. Okay. Mm -hmm. This person is a manifester. You might associate them with that kind of side of things. They make things happen. They're a magician. They kind of make things happen. They kind of will things into existence. You give... Haven't I seen this for you before? I want to say yes, but honey, after a while, they'll start to merge. Okay. This person is a strong-willed person. Okay. Let me know if you're dealing with Scorps. The Magician, we are a strong manifester, or at least that's how you perceive them. They bring things to them through the force of their will, something like that. Is the attraction instant, please? Yeah, Queen of Wands, that's really not up for debate. <laughs> <laughs> now, it could be one way. I don't know. We need to clarify. But somebody definitely attracted to somebody. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, does not have to be. It's one of those things where it's like more of the direction of the energy. They're kind of very determined. They don't take prisoners. Uh, they tend to be very self-motivated, self-willed, self-determined, which if they perceive them as having the magician energy, that makes perfect sense to me. Okay, what's the mental? Let's get... Sp there you are underlying that. Ooh, somebody could be seeing you that way, baby. Mm-hmm. Reverse energies as it applies. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Show me that mental, emotional, physical attraction, please. Show me that mental, emotional, or you could be dealing with fellow Taurus. <clears throat> the mental, emotional, or physical attraction, please. Show me the specifics. Hang man. Ace of Pentacles. Could literally be a Pisces you're attracted to. 
perspective. You like the perspective. They present a different point of view, or they see that way about you. You present a different point of view, a different way of looking at the world, the different way of looking at life and circumstances and all the usual bullshit we take for granted. Okay, so like everything from trees to the beach to sunrise, sunsets, the ocean, we always know those things to be true and to exist, but it's another thing to see them and then to see them differently. So this person, what you like about them is that they help you see things differently. General day-to-day -day life circumstances, they turn that on the head and say, well, here's another way to look at it. Here's another perspective. So either they're either attracted to you for that reason or it's the other way around, okay? Still can't quite tell where the energy's going, but yours is underlined that. That's your Ace of Pentacles, lovely. It's strong, it's very strong. Show me challenges, please. What's the challenges in this connection? Challenges, because I've yet to see a walk in the park, ever. Show me the challenges, please. What are the challenges to expect in this connection? Pacing, uh-oh, uh-oh. Seven of Cups, often. Uh-oh. Okay. Taurus. Now, I'm not trying to give you shit, honey. And I'm, and I, you always take everything with good grace and dignity. And Taurus is also like, P.S. Fuck you. That's my energy. Got it. I totally respect that, Taurus. I get it. But I'm still going to poke you. <laughs> I'm still going to poke you, though. Mm. Knight of Coin. Pacing. Now, I could clarify that and you could totally mind blow me. Let's see where that's going to go. Um, sometimes you think, you know, what one way is good to clarify. If we just took the baseline at face value, we would miss the underside to it, to what's actually going on. But yeah, some of us get caught up in the daydream, Seven of Cups, um, but options. What are the options here? And the Knight of Pentacles, it's not just about speed. Nay, nay. What we often forget about the Knight of Pentacles is that he is the most strategic of the Knights, yes? So... With that underlying energy, what does that tell me? Okay, strategically, how do I bring this together? What are my actual fucking options? Thank you very much. That's very you as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, when, where, how? When, where, how? When, where, how? When, where, how? Show me circumstances, time. Sir, okay. Whenever you shall will it is when it shall be. Judgment. Okay, now, there could be a divine timing thing at play here. There it is again. No, that's not correct. All right, thank you for qualifying. Okay, so if you've been around my channel, you know I'm not a huge fan of judgment. Simply not because for what it represents. No, no. It's how people willfully misinterpret it. Okay, it's up to the gods. I have no decision or play in my own life choices. Thank you. I'll just wait. Mm -mm. It's a bullshit delay tactic imposed on humans for a much larger concept. Your real challenge in life is to make decisions, not to delay them or defer them, okay? So, judgment. Timing could be now, okay? You will know the call when you hear it. Use your intuition. Decision, though. Decision, decision, decision. We have to make an active decision. It could have been divine timing, but unfortunately death is underlying that point. No. That is not divine timing. It's uh, more about when you hear the call or you're going to honor it, that kind of thing. Okay, so that... Mm-hmm. Twice. Yes, correct. Or are you going to fend it off? Seven of Wands. Delay, delay, delay. Let's take a look. Let's see what's going on. What's going on, honey? <laughs> Do you remember Captain Planet? The power is yours. There you go, Taurus. The power is yours. What's going on, please? This is the Arcanum. I have not used this in a very long time, so I'm happy to break it out again. What's going on? Split. Queen of Cups, that's confirmation for some of you. What's going on, please? What's going on, please? What is the best possible clarification? What's going on? Let's do one more. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking about food right now. Call me psychic. <coughs> Actually, I don't use that word. It's on purpose because I don't believe in that fucking word. I think it's stupid, so I don't use it. I have, you've never, have you seen that word once on my channel? No, that word psychic is 100% absent from my channel and anything having to do with it. No, I'm an intuitive empath, if anything, to a reader, bare minimum. Okay, but no, I don't use that word. But anyway, call me psychic. I think I see enchiladas in my reader. <laughs> Some. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. 
You haven't been turned on by food. Well, of course you have. You're fucking tourists. Of course you have. Jesus, who am I talking to? Show me the three cups, please. Show me the three cups, please. So, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank, thank, yes, yes, okay, okay. So just, just in case there's any confusion here, Taurus, about the energy, <laughs> three of cups for the three of cups, you are reconnecting with somebody, and it's mutual. Uh, you want to connect with them, they want to connect with you. There's underlying Knight of Wands energy here between the two of you, plain and simple. Okay, okay, all right, now we're cooking with a, f how does that even go? Whatever, you know, we're cooking with propane or something like that. I don't remember all the expressions, honey. Yeah, we got some curiosity. Page of Wands, low level communication, but it's happening. It's happening. It's cooking. There's some curiosity here between the two of you. Uh, more so about the reconnection piece. Three cups to three cups. So it looks like we're in an agreement here. Somebody made a strong decision here to drop that Page of Wands. Okay, show me the magician, please. This is how you perceive your person as a strong manifester. You have a working knowledge of them, and they have a working knowledge of you. It is under the moon energy. Okay? All right. It's under the moon energy. So even though we keep it here on the surface, that three of pentacles energy, ah, they're just a friend, they're just an acquaintance. No, they're not. They're not. We know that, right? We know that it's just way the fuck down in that moon energy. It's way the fuck down there. Okay, so on the surface, three of pentacles. Oh yeah, I totally know that person. We're totally chill. We're cool. We're cool. But yeah, it's under the moon energy though. Okay, so they are a strong manifester and also they seem to follow possibly the light of the moon or you associate them with the moon for some reason. Um, but deep emotional depths, but they keep it surface, okay? It's like uh, they keep it surface. So they have a great deal of emotional depth or that's what, how you attribute them. Uh, but they keep it up here on the surface where, you know, everybody can see it, all right? Um, You've seen it, you understand that they have emotional depths, but they keep it up here at the Three of Pentacles level. You are aware that they have deeper, um, a deeper well of emotions than they present. There you are, underlying that point, so they could feel that same fucking way about you too, honey. <coughs> they understand that you have a deep well of emotions, but what you allow people to see is the Three of Pentacles, okay? Um, yeah. Manifestors, likely the both of you. Queen of Wands is the uh, attraction instant. Yeah, let's say which way that's going. Show me. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you are, honey. That is literally your card. Yes. Oh, we've given deep contemplation to this. The Hermit card of Virgo. You might have some Virgo in your chart. Or if you're dealing with the Virgo, so let me know. Yes, we have some deep attraction here, and we're not in denial about it. Mm hmm. For you specifically. Absolutely. Uh, and then also in the other way around, again, you two are reflecting each other. You are reflecting each other. Absolutely. The Hanged Man. Uh, what's interesting, particularly the the actual intricate uh, attractiveness, is that somebody presents a different point of view. It's like, I never saw things that way. I never, I never felt things that way. That didn't occur to me. I never knew I could see things like this before. That's what the Hanged Man does. <sighs> interesting. The world is the pentacles. They make you see things differently about you specifically, about yourself, and what your worth is. Some of you are traveling soon. That's a FYI, Six of Swords. Okay. Anything else, please? They make you see yourself differently, particularly where your your self worth is, uh, Taurus, because that Ace of Pentacles is your energy, your your worth energy. So I would say the similar to an Ace of Cups for a water sign or the Ace of Swords for an air sign. It's your particular value of self worth. They literally make you see yourself differently in what it is your worth specifically. Okay, they're teaching Ten of Pentacles how much you are worth. They they teach you to see yourself differently and how much you are worth. Like, I hadn't seen myself that way before. Something like that. And it makes you feel stronger. It doesn't take away from you. It adds to you. It does not take away. It adds. Show me this knight of coin, please, for the challenges. The knight of coin, please, for challenges. Timing. It's not just timing. It's also... St ah, fuck off. I called it. Okay, seven of cups that we indicated to earlier. So, it's the strategy of actually bringing this shit together. Okay? It's not just the timing. Okay? It's not... Tor I... So oh... Just got so sensitive, some of you, when I talk about <laughs> Okay. I just felt your energy, like... Okay. So, no, it's not the timing aspects here. It's strategy. Sorry. 
Oh, seven of Cups. We're at the we're at the end of our day, honey. We're at the end of our fucking day, let me tell you. Okay. Mm. It's the strategy. I, I need to know what my options are. I need to determine time, place, because again, you're very informatic, grounded to the here on earth, yeah? The here now on planet earth. I need to know what my options are. I need to develop a strategy so that way I can actually work my fucking way towards it. Okay, cool. All right, so that's your challenge. Why is that a challenge though? Why is that a, why does that challenge the actual logistics as it were? Why is that an actual challenge for you? Because you, okay, you want it to be fucking optimal. Like seriously, you want it to be fucking optimal. That's technically your card, the Empress, and you want it to be optimal. That, I had to see that fucking King of Cups right there. You want it to be optimal. Oh God, my eyes just going crazy. You want it to be optimal. Why is that such an, that's such an imperative point. That, now, it, mm, you want it to be an optimal what? An optimal experience. What what is this? What are we what are we trying to do here? What are we trying to learn? What are we trying to learn? What are you trying to do here? You want it to be an optimal what? You want to make sure that they are happy because you have this impression that they've already checked out or are they emotionally available? Too strong willed. What is going on here? This is very interesting. You want to know that they are in a good place, okay? That's you looking at them. I want to make sure that everything's just right or just so. I want them to be comfortable. I want them to be optimally. I want to know what's going on with their current situation and or circumstances. And for that, I need things to be just right. The Eight of Cups is interesting. Are they emotionally available? Or are they not? So you want this, you want everything to be just so or just optimal. Where are they at emotionally speaking? So you want everything to be just right. You want it to feel good. You want it to feel natural. You want it to feel easy. Okay. You want to gauge a sense of where they are emotionally. That seems to be an imperative question to you. Show me judgment, please. It's a decision. Yeah, I told you. Called it. King of Swords. It's an actual decision on your part when to pull the trigger on this. You're going to use your best a sense of intuition, which you are highly intuitive. You're going to use your sense of intuition as to when to decide this. I see that the actual bringing this together is important to you. Okay. We want to make sure that we are both on a good equal page. Something about the Eight of Cups, where are they at emotionally, it seems to interest you the most. Obviously, if you're trying to develop a connection with them, I can see why this is very important to you. It's very important to you. You do want things to be just so. Um, there's this, are you, honey, yeah, if you want to know if they're interested, I mean, hello. Yes, of course they're fucking interested in you. You're literally here with the Queen of Wands. Yes, they're interested in you. Uh, very much so, but you don't seem to know that or you're not convinced or all that. Because <laughs> Taurus said, no, you, honey, it's like, yeah, well, saying is believing. <laughs> You got it. Yeah, but no, it's it's there. You're going to reconnect. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening now. But more to the point, the specifications of under what conditions and under what circumstances is imperative to you, you want to lock that down. You're trying to understand your options, okay, in terms of actual time frames, dates, time frames, that kind of thing. You want to see it coming a mile off. You want to maximize the natural good feeling between you two as much as possible. There's something here about determining this person's Eight of Cups status. Okay, how are they actually feeling? Something like that. It's going to happen. Your energy, energetically speaking, the Three of Cups to the Three of Cups, energetically speaking, you two are already reconnecting. It's just a matter of getting it into the 3D or the real world, yeah? And that's the active decision on your part. Show me more about what uh, this King of Swords is deciding. Or they you. It could be reversed, always reverse as it applies. It could be that somebody, not whenever the fuck you take action, okay? So shall it be. It's really dependent upon what looks like a discussion, two of wands, okay? Yeah, uh, action. You will take action when you have more details, honestly. I mean, I know that sounds terribly boring, but there you are, honey. It's important to you, and I see that. <laughs> um, 
this is good, Taurus. Energetically speaking, you two are already reconnecting. It's just a matter of bringing it into the real world as far as I can see. And it is an active decision on your part to actually take action towards this judgment call. Okay? It's pretty straightforward. This is the most interesting piece by far. It's, it's a little complicated. It's a little complicated. I don't... The Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, strategically, <clears throat> I want to lock this down and narrow it down to I know what cup I'm working with. What cup am I working with here? What cup am I working with here? Now, obviously, this person is important to you. Otherwise, you would not be giving it this much consideration, hence the Empress status, yeah? But that's also technically your card. I do know this. You want to make this person as emotionally comfortable as possible. I, I know that, and I, that's very imperative to you. I believe you want them to open up to you in regards to where they are emotionally, or it's the other way around. Somebody wants to make you as emotionally comfortable as possible. That way you feel more inclined to open up. I see your energy, honestly, as being more action-oriented. Part of your action as the Knight of Pentacles is to make sure this person is as comfortable as possible. I don't know why it's coming across so strong, but it is, okay? That's literally part of your action process. And uh, something about maximizing the comfort, uh, their emotional comfort, uh, s something like that. You, I, I need you to open up to me or something like that. I'm trying to get an understanding of where your cups are. Yeah, we're going to take an action towards this. You don't... Here's what's interesting. You pulled up sword energy over judgment, which again, making... Excuse me. Making the decision and then acting on the decision, right? He makes decisions. We got to act on them. Perfect sense. Perfect fucking sense, Taurus. Perfect sense. It is literally your judgment call. We're going to back it up with thought and action. Good. Good fucking job. Good for you. Good on you. Here's what's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's unassuming. This is what's interesting to me. It's unassuming. It's unass You don't want to assume. That's what's interesting to me. So you're going to take action towards this. You're going to make a decision on this. But it's also unassuming. You are taking... Uh, you're going out of your way to make sure that this person is comfortable. That seems to be a priority to you. I need to know that they are comfortable with me that kind of thing are they still turned on but you have to know this but again for you kind of like seeing is believing so i get that i can get why you don't want to assume that's my point you don't want to fucking assume so you're willing to make the decision and to take action but you're not going to assume shit okay you want this person to to open up and tell you that or something like that but yeah, no, they're literally attracted to you, Taurus. I'm seeing it right fucking here. And you already know for a fact that, yeah, they're a great, they're a great fucking magician, dude. They're a good manifester. Everything they seem to aim their energy at, they pull towards them. You know this. You fucking know this. And you know already, Taurus, that they, their emotional energy goes into a deep place. A very deep fucking place. But what they actually show is the Three of Pentacles. You know. You know. You know. I know you know. I know you know. Part of that manifestation is like, I'll show you what the f I want. <laughs> I was like, I will manifest a three pinnacles face. Enjoy that. Have fun with that. Enjoy figuring out what the hell that means, right? That's part of their manifestation too. But I'm telling you, you already have insider knowledge of this person. Uh, they, their emotionality goes into a very deep uh, place. But what they present to you is, Taurus, what's up? How's it going? Right? And you know it. But you don't want to assume. In other words, you're not an asshole. So good for you. All right. <laughs> you're not an asshole. Good for you. But really, it's going to come down to a conversation in terms of the who, what, when, where, why, logistics, and all that. Uh, but that's very kind of you. That's very generous. You're not assuming. You're not assuming the attraction's still there. You're not assuming that there's going to be any emotional attachment or any of that. You're not assuming any of it, but you are going to take action because the point is that you want to know or you need to know. Something like that. Energetically speaking, you two are already reconnecting. Okay, yes. It, it just feels good, doesn't it? It just feels fucking good. Hell yeah. If you wanted to know the result of that, the answer is hell yes. Okay. The <laughs> Yes, it's going to feel very good. Okay, uh, I think once you get confirmation of their energy and how they feel about you, or if they're still interested in you, or still attracted to you, or they still have something for you, 
again because you're not assuming and so that's 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 really intelligent of you you're not assuming anything but i can promise you at the end of that it's you feel very good and also the indication of six so that could be six days six weeks um june i don't know all right but six for some of you truth ace of swords like i said all right very good yay sun happiness yay okay chores good job i like it i like the energy i like the flow of this it, fe it feels natural it feels easy there is a secret surrounding this person but again i'm telling you you know that about this person you know this person's kind of because who they really are and what they allow to show are two different fucking things <laughs> okay so this person is either deeply secretive and that's part of the attractive moon quality um and it's another reason why you don't want to assume okay it's another reason you don't want to assume all right okay Taurus. oh let's do something here where are we on time pretty good time this time hey we didn't have an extended timeline for you this time yay <laughs> Yeah, no, it's coming up, honey. It's done. It's decided. You're already decided. You're going to take action. You've already made that decision. But it's coming from a non-assumptive place, and I, I respect that. It's You're not assuming anything, and that's good. Um, you want to make them as comfortable as possible. I keep getting that. Oh. King of Pentacles, that's you. On the split with the Four of Pentacles. Some of you are angry. Sorry. Some of you are angry. Okay, but we're not going to show that. The Four of Pentacles, we're not going to show it. The King of Pentacles in this deck is unique. It's the only time you've ever seen him featured with having, well, some sort of personality that isn't your standard King of Pentacles. Uh, in this deck, he's represented as he's, he's someone who's pissed off. And um, again, very uncommon. But he's pissed off for interesting reasons. He's pissed off in this deck because he's like, fuck. That was something, because the King of Pentacles is all about gathering the resources, gathering the best for himself, his kingdom, okay, whatever he can get in terms of house or household, it's his, it's mine, 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 right? King of Pentacles. And so it pisses him off when he misses a resource or an opportunity. That's, it's such a rare depiction. So some of you are angry about holding back the Four of Pentacles, or some of you feel like you were angry because you were held out on, or something like that, or I, I can't quite tell, but that's for some of you, not all of you. Um, so if you are feeling angry, you know, you're keeping that in check or you're not showing it. Uh, let's see. What else, please? The Emperor in Reverse. Oh, shit. The Emperor in Reverse. Big Daddy's in Reverse. Oh, my. We had to get outside of our script or our normative or this insistence of stubbornness. Mm-hmm. That insistence of stubbornness, because I'll tell you what, <laughs> that might as well be your card, even though it's the card of Aries. Uh, Aries is in, or the Emperor's in reverse here. You know? We're going to flip the script. Not be so stubborn. Be a little more flexible. Maybe. It either resonates or it doesn't. Nine of Cups. Okay. Better expressing our wishes, wants, and expectations. Anything else, please? Oh, okay. Okay. Three cups on the split. Yes. Yep. There it is again. Three cups. Reconnecting. Your energies already are. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So strength is in reverse. So we have to put our pride down. We have to put our guard down. Something like that. As It's here twice. To not be so strong. To not be so stubborn. To not be so proudful. It's not just you. It could be them too. Okay. Especially if they are very used to having. Honey, honestly, the moon is just the reverse of the sun. Okay. So that means this person's pride is just way the fuck down. <laughs> Okay, they can have, you can have just as much pride in the depths of the ocean as you can as the sun in the sky or strength. Okay, it, it, the, Leo, okay, uh, Scorpio for some of you. You know, it's, it's just, I'm going to go ahead and take a guess as the both of you. I just, we have to lower the pride and defenses and the seven of cups, there's that seven of cups again, options. What are my options? Trying to develop an options. Okay, the delivery of such. Mm -hmm. We have had blockages. We've had problems with blockages, and that's one of the things, you know. What's what else, please? Four of Swords in reverse. Interesting. Okay, we got to come out of this period of doing nothing. So Four of Swords. I've been seeing heavy Four of Swords energy for folks recently. The Four of Swords is in reverse. Uh, so, couple of thoughts here. All right. Um, Specifically in the tarot deck of sexual magic, which is what this is. It's just the mini version. 
Uh, four swords implies masturbation. Okay, like a lot. All right, four swords. And then the reverse, you know. Um, yeah. Self-pleasuring just isn't very satisfying. Okay. <sighs> That's for some of you, not all of you. Uh, but also four swords is typically doing nothing, right? It's a retreat space, sure, and it can be healing in nature for that reason. But also usually typically just means uh, doing nothing. Four swords. we got to come out of that state of doing nothing. And so I see that. That's an active decision on your part, and it's also an active decision on their part. So like I said, energetically speaking, you two are already reconnecting. It's really just a matter of, like I said, the physical space and time. Okay? Taurus, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, I am exhausted. I'm going to go attack something. Uh, I don't know what, but I look forward to it. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling like a pizza. Uh, I don't know. Everything just sounds so good right now. I just know I'm going to fuck it up. Like I'm going to get in there and fuck it up, whatever it is. Yeah. Okay, on that note, Taurus, I hope you have an excellent weekend. Yes, by the yes, by the time you see this, oh, do I boot? Oh, do I do bathrobe tarot tonight? I don't remember. Oh no, I better fucking remember. <laughs> no, I film these in advance. I film these. In, there's no way I do filming same day. I know some tarot readers do that. I, I there's just no fucking way. <laughs> There is no way. I think tonight, though, by the time you're watching this, I am doing bathrobe Q&A tonight. Oh, well, hopefully I'll see you then. Okay, so that is going to be, well, it's May 13th. <laughs> it's May 13th. Logistics, yours truly is not so. You're great with it. Not yours truly. Not yours truly. I can get lost in a shoe. I've That, that is a real thing for me. Um, but you are. You're awesome with logistics, as we see. Uh, but yeah, uh, bathrobe live Q&A is May 13th, which I think is today. <laughs> By the time you see this, which is going to be 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hopefully I'll see you there. I'm so embarrassed because I literally don't know. I'm filming this kind of in advance. Of <laughs> I'm horrible with logistics, honey. Don't ask me for directions. It's a great way to get lost is to ask me for directions. <laughs> It's hilarious. It's not. It, it, it is hilarious, though. Okay. Yeah. We got a lot of pride, but also a lot of strength and conviction in this. Anyway, Taurus, I hope this message finds you well. Uh, let me know your comments, your thoughts. As always, uh, take care. Be well.